All right, let's get started. Scully, where are you on digitizing the old case files? As of yesterday, I'm officially 1% done. Why are you smiling? That's nothing. Oh, there's thousands of cases, and for each one, I have to fill out 200 little box thingies on 50 different screens. At least you get to sit on your butt all day. That's actually the worst part. My doctor said I have an anal canyon. Oh, oh God. Scully, why are you always telling us about your disgusting body? I don't see anything. That's because it's all work. I am so sick of this city. I go into a coffee shop, and as soon as everybody sees that I'm a cop, they stop talking and they avoid eye contact with me. One lady even walked out. I am just so tired of being treated like the enemy. Hey, Hitchcock, your penis is hanging out. Oh, well, that's a relief. There's no easy way to put this, Sarge, but someone has been painting wieners on squad cars. And apparently, they won't stop until there's a penis drawn on every cop car in Brooklyn. Oh, that's what he's been drawing. But what are those two little round things at the bottom? It's a butt. The butt? Oh, emergency, Hitchcock! They're stealing brown Betty! Freeze! Get your hands off the couch! Whoa, 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 calm down. We're getting a new one. We finally got some money to spruce up the break room. What? The break room's perfect the way it is. It's so comfortable and relaxed, I can put my butter feet on any surface in there. Exactly. It's disgusting, which is why we're fixing it. Hey, Jakey. The place on the corner is serving lemonade, and you get to keep the jar. It's pretty cool. Yes. That's very cool, Scully. Mm -hmm. Will you excuse me just one moment? Oh, sure. Guys, guys, guys. Scully has a mason jar full of lemonade. You called us in here to tell us that? No, I called you in here to change your lives. For you see, a mere five minutes ago, Hitchcock introduced me to his new goldfish who lives in... <gasps> An identical mason jar? Oh, this isn't gonna end well. There are two possible outcomes, and we're gonna bet on which one happens first. So, will Hitchcock put fish food in Scully's lemonade, or will Scully drink Hitchcock's goldfish? Now, you would think that putting fish food into lemonade Hitchcock would be... just drank his own fish. What? No! Nine hours and 55 minutes. Is it? I feel like I just sat down. I have no feeling down here whatsoever. <sighs> I haven't in years. According to a recent study, the physical act of smiling can improve your mood. I suggest we give it a shot. Hmm? Now you all try. Big smiles. Bigger, bigger. Great. Now we just have to stay like this for the next two hours. Can you feel it? Working? I don't have any enamel on my teeth, so the cold air is excruciating. Maybe if you brushed your teeth once in a while, this wouldn't be a problem. I do brush my teeth. They're decaying from acid reflux. You're birthing yourself. Crikey! You're not Australian, Gina. Get stuffed, you drongo! Guys, seriously, too much exposure to air and they will turn to dust. This isn't working out as well as I'd hoped. Time for the next level. Forced laughing. <laughs> He's here! Okay, he's here, everybody. Be cool. Hitchcock, why do you have your shirt off? Can't spill food on your shirt if you're not wearing one. Sarge? Captain? No. Oh, you guys brought Hitchcock. Uh, no, we just bumped into him in the lobby. We don't know why he's here. Jenny, baby! I love what prison's doing to your figure. <laughs> okay. So how's prison? You know what really chafes my crack? We spent years crafting that break room into something special, something comfortable. A place with so many stains that the new ones just blended in. Where the couch cushions were so worn down, they comforted all butts, large or small, flat or juicy. Juicy. Gross. We built a masterpiece, and you amateurs flushed it down the toilet. Skirt plash. Was that supposed to be a flushing sound? Skirt plash. Oh, oh I am so sorry. Excuse me. Oh my god, it's like a she scully. I'm high. Uh, Norm, uh, who are you? Shats. Uh, Cindy Shats. Scully, shake your hand. Oh, uh, here I go. Uh -huh. Meet to please you, Shats. Your hands are so clammy. I ate a bunch of clams earlier and they still smell. Yeah, that's not what she meant. No, it was. Hey, Sarge. A uh, package was delivered to my desk downstairs, addressed to the 99th precinct. Attention, Sergeant, but it's not for me. It's a book. Sounds like something you'd order. <laughs> How to please your wife, 100 tips to take your sex life from blah to ah. Uh... Yeah, that's not mine. It also shipped with two gallons of protein powder. Well, I get my protein from real food. 22 meals a day, one every 40 minutes. It's not a big deal, okay? Just take the book, I promise I won't tell anyone. Hey, Sarge, I heard you need some sex tips. Except for the people I already told. 
Here's the big one. Just lie flat on your back. Women love to do all the work. <sighs> That's very incorrect, and I don't need sex tips. Okay, before we get going, Sergeant Jeffers has suggested that it would improve morale if we started the meeting with some consensual non-work jabber. I just said it might be nice if you checked in on the squad's personal lives every now and then. Exactly, jabber. Scully, go. Well, it's just a regular morning for me. Woke up again with my dog's butt on my mouth. This experiment has failed. Hitchcock, there's a woman here interviewing detectives as part of the commissioner's selection process. All right, I'll go hide in the janitor's closet until this is all over. Thanks for the heads up. No, it's too late for that. She wants to talk to you. What? No! How could you let this happen? I'm nuts! Hey, calm down, man. We just took her on a tour of the precinct, and now she's at lunch. That means we have one hour to teach you how to behave like a human. Oh, I see. You're gonna my bear lady me. My bear lady? I'm assuming it's a my fair lady porn parody. Oh my, we've got our work cut out for us. Here's our list of words to avoid. Chick, foxy, Jew, throb. Is Grendel on the table? No, it's not on the table. Practice introducing yourself. Hello, I'm Detective Michael Hitchcock. <laughs> nice job. Why are your hands so wet? Trick question. The answer's disgusting, so I shouldn't tell her. Just don't have wet hands, man. Hey, you dum-dums. Ice cream. Moose tracks ice cream. How do you know? <laughs> yep, it's definitely ice cream. Knew it! They're going down. Also, whoever used this spoon, their body ain't right. Okay, let's say it is ice cream, but I didn't need it. I couldn't have. I'm lactose intolerant. Me too. I'm super lactose intolerant. You're lying! Have you ever seen us eat dairy? You know no one can bear to watch you eat. Okay, unlike Kooky Charles and Tearful Terry, I am healthy and don't need therapy. I hear that. I don't go to therapy either. Jake and I are like two penises in a pod. Damn it, Hitchcock, we talked about this. It never helps when you back me up. Sorry, guys, we're stuck with a nice, clean, expensive sofa. But I guess we'll just have to make do. Oh, we'll make do. We'll make do all over it. Oh. Well, I just mean we'll fix it. Hells yeah, we will. Should we wake them? Nah, let them sleep. They earned it. It's here. She's here. Cindy Shatz is here. What do I do? My face is so wet and my mouth is so dry. Okay, calm down. Remember, be direct. Women don't like to play a lot of games. I think we gotta start simpler. Okay, Scully, smile at her. Don't fart. He knows not to. Oh, you're writing that down. This is good stuff. What else you got? Don't talk about your foot fungus. Don't talk about your eye fungus. Let's just say fungus is off the table. Oh, no, see, you just wrote the word fungus down and I feel like we're barreling towards a misunderstanding. Draw a circle around it and then put a line through it. There you go. Believe in yourself. Be confident. You're a sweet guy with a big heart. It's the size of a giraffe's. It pushes on my other organs. Okay, you got this. Don't talk about the giraffe heart. All right, get out of here. You got the book? You should know things are good with Sharon. I just want to make sure we're as happy in our relationship as we can be. That's nice, Sarge. Sorry you had to embarrass yourself. Not a big deal. I guess I just don't care what other people think of me. That's actually pretty inspiring. I wish I was more like that. Yeah, oh, Phil, excuse me. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You're not gonna wait for me to leave? Like I said, I just don't care. Guys, horrible news. The fridge broke this morning. Everything's warm. Doesn't seem like that big a deal. Your yogurt's spoiled. Who did this? Okay, everyone calm down. I will put a request in for a new fridge. Good luck getting that approved. Mr. Kelly's already slashed our budget within an inch of its life. Yeah, the toilet paper's only one ply now. My butt hurts all the time. The AC is broken. My butt hurts all the time. Scully's butt hurts all the time. All right, guys, we get it. We're here to apologize. I can't prove you took my moose tracks, so I shouldn't have yelled at you. I'm impressed. It takes a big person to admit when they're being a total dumb dumb. We want to make it up to you. We got you a pizza. Only one pizza for both of us? Oh my god, that was an obvious setup, you morons. You're eating cheese. You're lying about being lactose intolerant. No, we weren't. Some things are just delicious enough to suffer the consequences. I'm diabetic, but I still eat sugar out of the bag. Oh, just admit you took my moose tracks. Admit it. Admit it. Yeah, we ate it. And we're eating your pizza. So who's the moron now? <laughs> Ooh, stomach! <clears throat> oh yeah, it's coming. They admitted it. That's a victory, right? No, Terry. There are no winners here. Oh, well, we're coming through, coming through! Move it! 